Hey everybody, it's Danielle from Cool Science Experiments Headquarters. Today, I'm going to show you an experiment called the Bottle Scuba Diver. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, for the first step of the Bottle Diver Scuba Experiment, we are going to need to cut out our diver. And to do that, you're going to need some heavy duty foil. And I am using a pie plate. What you're going to want to do is cut out the shape of a diver to look like this. And you can head over to coolscienceexperiments.headquarters.com to get a template for that. So once you've cut him out, the next step is to create his scuba gear. And to do that, you're going to need a straw, one of the ones that have the flexible um, bend, bending part. Okay. So you bend it in half here and then you're going to cut it about an inch down from the bend and we're going to cut both sides. So I'm going to cut that here and again you'll notice that I cut off both the long part as well as the short part here. It's really important to make sure that the scuba equipment is only about an inch down off the bend otherwise it'll be really hard to move the diver up and down in the bottle. So the next step for building the scuba gear is to take your paper clip. <clears throat> and you'll see that I'm holding the paper clip, so the end, so here's one end of the paper clip and here's the other, and they're pointing up, not down. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your straw, and one end of the straw is gonna slide into one end of the paper clip, and the other end of the straw is gonna slide into the other end. It's a little tricky at first, but once you get it started, you can finish it up pretty easily. You'll see here that again this end of the paper, this end of the straw is slid under that end of the paper clip, and this end of the straw is slid under that end. And you have your scuba tank. So now we're going to put it onto the diver. <clears throat> So on your scuba tank, you'll see that you're going to slide the diver here in between the paper clip as well in the straw. So here's my diver. And I'm going to slide him in just like that. You're going to keep the scuba equipment at a diagonal angle. So here's the side of the diver where the paper clip is. And then here's the side of the diver with his scuba tank. The next step is to get your Play-Doh or your putty and you're going to put it on the feet of the diver and you want to make sure that you put it on the same side that the scuba tank is on. Okay. <clears throat> and to do that, you're just going to take that Play-Doh or the putty and kind of mold it to the bottom of the foil and push it on there and it should stay pretty easily. If not, you can put a little drop of water on the back of that to get it to stick. You see now we have our scuba diver. Now we're going to test our diver and to do that you're going to need a empty drinking glass and some water. And I'm going to fill the drinking glass full about three quarters of the way with the water. And then I'm going to take the diver and I'm going to put him into the glass feet side first and you'll notice that he floats. That's what you want him to do. If for some reason the diver were to um, sink to the bottom of the glass, it's likely caused because there's a hole in the straw. If that happens, then you're gonna to wanna to follow the steps to create a new scuba tank for him. Then test him again. Once you have a diver that floats at the top of the bottle, or floats at the top of the drinking glass, you're ready to move to the next step. So now we are ready to put the scuba diver into the bottle. So what I'm going to do here is I have a two liter bottle and mine is already full about three quarters of the way with water. I'm going to fill it the rest of the way all the way up into the mouth of the bottle here. And it's important to keep the water really close to that top of that bottle. Okay, so now you can see that the water level is right here. Then I'm going to take my diver 
and I am going to put him again feet first into the mouth of the bottle and you'll see that he floats then I'm going to put the lid on for the cap on. <clears throat> so now our diver is in the bottle and we are going to make him dive. To do that you just put your hands around the bottle and squeeze. You'll see by squeezing the bottle diver goes down or the diver goes down and by letting go he goes back up. If for some reason you have a hard time getting the diver to move up and down you'll want to take him out and then cut a little bit off the ends of the straw and then have fun with your diver. So do you know what causes the diver to move up and down in the water? Leave a comment below to submit your guess and then visit coolscienceexperimentsheadquarters.com to find out the answer. You can print out detailed instructions for this science experiment as well as the template for the diver. And then you can see many more cool science experiments that you can do at home too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.